Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. In this, in this video I will show you the Dendroculus locations of the new Sumero um, area, which is called the Desert of Haldramavet. And from uh, the previous part, so from the first part of Sumero where you collected 110 plus 70 from the first part of the desert, so this tree area, you should have your statue, statue of the seven at level 7 and 23 Dendroculus. Yeah, this is the goal. Make sure you are on this progress, if you didn't you can check my previous guides. The pre-requirement to, fin pre to collect all the Dendroculus are to complete the series of world quests, series of world quests the, Birge, the Dirge of Bilkis, which is the main series of world quests of the Desert of Mandravet, and then complete its sequel, which is the, Fal the Falcon series of world quests until the Fallen Falcon, and its sequel Apocalypse Lost. Only by finishing this, all these world quests you will be able to access some area because um, if, you don't do the if you don't do the Apocalypse Lost, for example, you cannot collect this one. And if you don't do the Dilge of Bilkis, you cannot collect the tree, etc. etc. So yeah, remember to do the, the pre-requirements first and then come back to follow the, this guide. Don't worry, it will only take you maximum two days because the Falcon series of request is time gated. Only after you finish the Dirge of Bilkis, the second one will unlock at the daily reset. Say the pre requirements, we can start to collect our new Dendroculus in the new Sumero area. First of all, teleport to the Statue of the Seven. And from here, we could collect our first one, which is on that tree, watching toward the north direction from the State of the Seven. So let's just go. As you can see, it's on the top side of that wood. Here we go, the first one. Also, I advise you to get a squad with double anemo, plus Kaya, and this one. Now, le next step is to teleport to this teleport waypoint. Let's go. And just to jump down toward the northwest direction. Downside, you will see some stars. Just dip into this one. There is an entrance to a cave. This is the. Yeah, this, is, this should be the third one, but we already take it. Since the second one and third one are really, really close to each other, so I will come to them together. Now, here we will find a, a Fatui camp. Watch the top side, you will see another cave. So, tunnel. Just. To Okay, fly to here. You will see this Dendroclus. Yeah, two of them are really simple. So let's delete them. It will be easier to, for you to see the minimap. Now, teleport to this Dendro waypoint. And this time, just go toward the southwest direction here. Go upstairs. And from here, go behind this building. Because this one is broken. And behind it, there is a hidden Dendroclus. Collect it. Okay, perfect. Once you collect this one, it's not finished yet here outside. Um, you have to go at the center of the chessboard of the gods. Here you can see, you will see a uh, Dendroculus flying just there. Now, how to reach this point? Uh, you can, just by finishing the Dirge of Bilk, the first part, um, the sands that, you no know, temples with the sands flow like tears, huh? if I remember it's called like this. This will be unlocked, so just a TP to here and collect this one. Or you can just uh, fly, for example, from a uh, high place. Up to you. But uh, this way is more simple. Now, once you got this two, teleport to this teleport waypoint here. You should already unlock it by doing the world quest here. And you have to go inside this door on the left side. So, going toward the south direction. Go inside now this small door. And just to keep following the tunnels. Now, once you reach this part, you have to jump down to when you see the lake. Okay, now turn back. If you already took the chest, you will not be able to see it. If you didn't, you will see a protected chest here. Now, keep progress. And uh, at the end of that statue, you will see the dead Proclus. So just dip it here and climb it. Uh, yeah. Maybe you could already start by climbing from this wall, to be honest, instead of from the leg. Okay, or if you want an easier way is to climb the wall here and then jump down. Now, took this one, the next one is at this teleport waypoint, not the main, but the teleport waypoint. Okay, downside, just go in front of you. You have to go above the stairs. 
You're, maybe you already took it by doing the world quest because when you use the machine, the terrain will disappear, and maybe you fall directly on the dendroclus. So, uh, <laughs> yeah. Okay. Now let's teleport to this teleport waypoint, the third room, and this time again go inside the room on the left side. Now go here, left side again. Okay. Now to go downside, no. Careful to the stamina. And downside here you will immediately see it. Just on the wood. Perfect. Now took this one. We can teleport to this teleport waypoint outside. And here, watching toward the north direction, a bit uh, east, downside you will see a star, just a flight width. This one is just the right there. Really easy to notice. Collect it. And now watch toward top side, top side and fly to that star above the Patui camp. You will see a small temple, protected by... Um, actually not protected because you can just go there and activate this uh, machine. Start it to open this door. And inside here you will see the dendroclus above. So just take it to the store. Here we go. Took this two. Teleport now to this teleport waypoint of at the Wadi al -Majaj. Here immediately watch toward the nord east direction. Jump down, you will see it on the pillar. Uh, northeast, sorry, not northeast, not the northwest. Okay. Oops. I forgot change. So collect it. And now watching toward north direction, fly to that platform. You will see a pillar and some enemies. Ignore them. You have to progress so with the road here, then jump on this one. Here you cannot access if you don't finish the Apocalypse Lost first, because you will see a wall. After you finish the Apocalypse Lost, you will see the wall disappear. So now just go inside. And you can see the Dendro is above, but you cannot just climb and get it. Why? Because here there is an invisible path. How to go to the invisible path? Just come here but at the bottom side. On the pillar on left side, so watching toward the wall left side, teleport to this star. You can see you cannot teleport, so go a bit more here and teleport to it. Because there are stairs. Now, this is a trick you can use, which is getting a bow character. So this is more friendly for a phone user. Bow character, and if you, even if you walk to the edge, you cannot fall. So just use the bow and go upstairs. Keep go upstairs. Okay, aim and keep going. We are going more upstairs. Almost there. Way. Not this way. So my enemies will also spawn, so be careful. Don't be hit. Okay. Here should go up now. Ah. We're almost there. In the middle now. It will bring you to upstairs here. Okay. Here we go. A bit tricky, but still doable, right? Now, took this one, you have to go outside from that cave at the south direction. Perfect. Here, this door, yeah. Here as well, there's a wall if you don't, if you don't complete the Apocalypse Lost. Uh, if you didn't complete that World Quest yet, you can skip this one and just keep the mark on the map. Come back after you finish it. But you have to come to this teleport waypoint and climb from the top side then jump down from here because this one you can get it since it's not locked by a wall so to get this one just climb on the pillar okay then jump down and fly toward the statue and from the statue you jump and fly perfect to this one, just to keep progress with the road here. Going toward the east direction, you will see another Dendroculus here blocked by the wood. So just TP to the stars you see here. Pick this one. And then maybe to P to this one and then fly down. Very simple. Okay, go to this one now, TP back to top side. 
And this time you have to go toward that uh, wood uh, on east direction. That's our next goal. You can see right to there. Just come here and jump. With a tall character. So not like uh, Diona, for example. Now, for me, since I already took, I repeat, if you don't have this area unlocked yet, just keep the marker. If I already took it, it's nice. Now, once you took this one, the next one is at this location, so north direction, you have to just jump down from here and go toward that point. You can already see it. Now, for this one, uh, is trapped inside a um, sandstorm, right? In order to unlock the sandstorm, you need this gadget, which, which is a quest item you, you can unlock by doing the Dirge of Bilkis, and you can upgrade it with the sequels. So you need to finish the Fallen uh, the fallen Falcon, or the, falcon, the Falcon's Hunt, that were the rest to unlock the ability to, let me show, uh, you can see, can dispel a small and a large atmospheric vortexes by consuming a certain amount of genius mine. Anyways, you can just get this power by finishing all the world crests, okay? If you didn't, just leave this one as well, just like the other one, keep the marker here. Anyways, since we already got the thingy, we can just come here and, oh, just to get close enough, maybe we'll get hitted, but the genie, the bottle, will help you to clear it. Once you clear it, just pick this, um, then then to close up. Took this one. Fly toward east direction. Okay, right here. Let's keep going. You will find on the top side that wood and under the entrance also. So just fly to the top side using the stars. Very nice like this. Okay, collect it and fly downside. Literally, or you can just jump down this platform first and then fly downside. You will see another dendroclus on bottom side of the canyon. Drop down and get it. Passage of the ghouls. Okay. Took this one. Actually, took this two. You have to teleport to this teleport waypoint first. This one is underground, which you can lock by con. Completing the world quest, I am a bit tired to repeat that. <clears throat> Anyways, now just to climb a bit here toward the south direction. Okay. And you have to go a bit more above because you will see a dendroclus right on the sky, right? Now, how to unlock this one? This one is pretty mm, simple. You have to activate uh, the elemental pillars. Now, how to do this? First of all, you have to get the Dendrogranum here, using a bow character or a heavy attack on these rocks. Break it. Okay, another pillar. Uh, here as well. And the last one should be there. Okay, perfect. Unlock all the four elemental pillars. Get the Dendrogranum again. Hit them with the Dendro element. If you don't have a Dendro element in your squad, you can use the Dendrogranum. Same with the bow character or heavy attack. Hit it, to light that, that one up, light now this one up, light this, that one up, in the end this one up, so all four. Here we go, a chest will spawn and a current will be created, so just use the air current to fly up and get it. Took this one from here, watching toward the east direction, drop down, you will immediately see the next one on that tree. The two are really really close and really easy to get together. Perfect. Now teleport to this teleport waypoint underground, which you can unlock by doing the world quest, blah blah blah. And from here, behind you, in this tunnel, just have to go. Okay. Above you. Uh, let me see if I can find a star going upstairs. Okay, there. Okay. 
is literally on the top, so you need to keep use these stars to get up. Okay, once you're upstairs here, you have to climb that rock and drop down from there. Okay. Perfect. Now, took this one, we have to teleport back at this teleport waypoint on the upside. And this time, go toward the north, a bit to west, east direction. Have basically go there. So we just fly from here. Go up, climb a bit, and when you're here, you will see. Oops, when you're here, you will see this rock. You have dendrocrums, uh, dendrogram right there, near to him, just to pick it up, okay, and then use a um, bow character or heavy attack. That's right, dendrocrums. Alright, took this one, we finished with the first route and you should have in your bag 22 dendrocrus. Now if you want you can take a bit of rest and we continue with the second route. Okay, let's continue with the next route which is this one. So, teleport to this teleport waypoint in front of the second venote and just uh, drop down in the cave. This one is really simple. So drop down, you will be able to... See the dendroclus just on the in the middle of the air, uh, the sky. So get it and then go toward uh, now the tunnel on the east direction. If you can see a silly, good. If you don't see because you already took it, is the tunnel on the east direction? Remember. Now from this tunnel, just to keep progress. Okay, keep go. You will see a um, time limited challenge uh, shrine. Here, just ignore this tunnel. You shouldn't have it, or if you have it, uh, and don't go inside it. Just keep progressing in the tunnel. Okay, until you reach this part with some of the light. And uh, yeah, this big pillar in the middle. Now from here, watch on left side. You have to go on this platform and then left side again. Actually, no, not yet. Okay, then left side again, because you have to go upstairs to the light source. Okay, once you come here, drop down. And you will see a Dendroculus uh, in this rock. Here is the light source, but it doesn't bring you to uh, anywhere. So here, just to break it with um, Claymore character, or just to keep hitting it. Okay, then Dracula's hide it here. Nice. Now to this one, you have to jump down, drop down. And on the same tunnel, downside, you have to go inside this tunnel. Now if you have it, good. If you don't have it, you should be able to see a stone pillar here, just to pick it up. Once you pick up, pick up that stone pillar, the Mora, Mora box. Uh, this tunnel will be created, so just drop down now. And the next one is right there in the corner, so... Once you're downside, you will see a scorpion, just ignore it. And ignore this tunnel as well, you shouldn't, you shouldn't see it. Here, use this one to TP up. Then TP this one, you will see a chest, if you didn't take it. And from here, go inside this small space. It's hided here. Really, really well. Okay. So, once you took this two... Teleport outside at this teleport waypoint. And now keep go toward north direction. Okay. Here we see the next one near to the steering guards. Okay, pick it up. And fly toward the east direction. Downside. You can see it's literally downside there. Now, this one, you should have the golem, because the golem moved from here to here, then here. 
uh, that's why I finish all the all the quests first, so you should have the map as the same as mine. But if you have the golem here, it should be at the bottom side of the golem. Just to mention it. Okay, jump, jump, jump. Okay. Now, got this one, you have to teleport to this type of waypoint. Go toward the north direction again. Here behind this wood you will see a ruin, and on the top side of this ruin you will see the dendrocles. Just to climb a bit and take it. Okay, nice. Now to get this one, keep a progress toward the north direction. You have to go basically under that uh, rock. Here, here you already been during the world quest. Uh, what is lost is now found with the jet uh, where you have to fix Bam Bam basically. Okay. You don't need to finish the world quest, but the place is basically where you did the world quest, I'm saying. Anyways, once you come here, go inside and you will see some factory. Now, you're in the corner. In this corner here. Just to get it. Nice. Once you took this one, get out from here and you have to go toward the west, the southwest direction. More toward the west, actually. Wait for stamina. Nice. Downside, you will, you will immediately see it on the sky. That's why flying from, from the top side is a good idea. Okay. Pick this one up. The next one is downside there, around this zone. So wait for stamina because later we need to fly back. Okay, so wait here. Go toward it first, okay? Now drop down, you can see it's on the sky. That's why even if you teleport there you cannot take it. And so you don't have, you cannot fly. Unless, uh, no, I don't think if... I don't know if uh, Scaramosh can fly to here. The, I mean, Wanderer. But, uh, once you took this one... Fly back... And climb here. And this is the reason I told you why you should have maximum stamina before doing this. Okay. Once you come here, you have to go. You go toward the northwest direction. The next one is right there. As you can see, on that rock. Okay. With this one, keep a progress toward this direction. To fly down, you will see a star. Let's use this star to get up. Okay, once you're upstairs, you're at this uh, star. Watch on left side, you will see another star with some um, stamina flower. So go here and climb the mountain here. So once you're upstairs, just to go toward uh, that dendrogranum shrine and pick it up. Okay. Once you took it, uh, now immediately here behind you will see a protected uh, rock. Uh, so just use a heavy attack or, or bow character. Dendroclus inside. Nice. Now to this one, you have to keep go toward um, how it's called uh, west direction. Just keep going. Around here, jump down. Downside, you will see a dendroclus. No, now let's just go take it. There we go. To this one, you have to teleport now to this teleport waypoint. Once you teleport here, watch it toward south direction and go toward that cactus. You can see it's on the top side of it. No, just to fly up. I mean, climb, climb up. Teleport back to the teleport waypoint here. This time, go toward north direction. 
Here, the next one is again inside this rock. Now, how to get the dendrogranum is just above this platform. Go up a bit, you will see some fungus. Get the dendrogranum and a plunge attack. Boom. I mean, heavy attack. Here we go. Now pick it up and go toward that shrine. Actually, not the shrine. Um, the other part of the canyon. So just to fly down, you will see a star and the two hermits dancing. You'll be a couple. Let's break it. <laughs> Anyways, now from here, just to fly to that one, you will be able to pick it. Then you You go downside together with him. Okay. Now pick took those two. You have to go toward now west direction from here. Just go. Jump down. And fly to that part. Yeah, you can see. You can immediately see it there. You should have in your bag now 38 dendroclos. Now go take a rest and we continue later with the final part. Okay guys, let's go with the next part, which is this one, and we have to start from picking this one, so just teleport to this or this teleport weapon and walk to there, because it's uh, yeah, with just a bit far away, a single one, it's basically on that uh, cactus, cactus. Okay, now took this one, you have to teleport back. Uh, to this teleport waypoint and uh, from here immediately under you you will see one so just to jump down from here as you can see okay get it and climb up from here now we have to go toward um, south east direction now Basically, inside this tent, you will see the next. The remit camp. Okay. Now, pick it. And now, watching toward north direction, above this tree, you will see another one. So just use this star to fly up. And climb a, climb a bit here. Slowly, slowly, so don't fall down. Here we go. Now, to this one, you have to go toward northeast direction. So basically, there. You will see uh, another one like on the sky. Now, how to reach this point? Basically, you have to uh, near to here. Basically, at the end of this can, this mountain, you will see elemental pillar, a nemo one. You just have to hit it with um, a nemo character. So. <laughs> Mm, yeah, uh, I just use Jin. From here. And hit it. It will create an air current. Just uh, fly. Okay. And dip it to here. Then fly to it. Basically, you will see like a hidden pet. Nice, perfect. So with this one, we can teleport now underground, so using this teleport waypoint. Let me delete this I already took. Okay, so now teleport to the underground one. And from here, just go inside that big ruin. You've already been here during the world quest. The... Uh, uh, the Dirge of Bilkis. One of the world quests of it. Okay, here, above on the tree. Here is one. Now just fly down, go to the other room. And from this room, turn your right side. You have to exit from there. 
This is the chest of Yao when you finish the puzzle here during the world rest. Let's ignore it. Just to go downside from here. Go the most bottom side and not go in the tunnel here. Okay, basically to reach the place where you fought and to restore the energy. And on that tree here you will see the next. Here we go. Now, took this two, we finished with this part underground. Now, the next step we have to go is here. So just teleport to this teleport waypoint and go there first. This one is also like on the sky. So just fly down toward that tree you see at the west direction. And this one is between these two mountains in the middle of the sky. As you can see, right there. Alright. Now just uh, push this enemy down. And watching toward uh, the Dendroclus, walk toward it. Surprise. Invisible pet. I'll just get this Dendroclus. Actually from the other side. Fly and touch. Okay, hold on. Okay, nice. Now, to this one, you have to fly toward uh, southeast direction. Just there. Here, now a rock will spawn. Because I am too far away. Shaders that didn't load. Oh, sorry, it's here. Just fly toward there. And you will see a rock. You basically have to destroy it. Now, how to get this the dendrogranum if you watch on the left side you will see some uh, geo slimes uh, watching a um, dendrogranum shrine now to to make this storm small storm disappear we still need genie but uh, just have genie uh, that's why i finished the world quest blah 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 to get the power when you get it close enough it will help you to clear it now get the dendrogranum and go heavy attack this one to destroy Revealing the Dendroclus. Now collect it. Now, if your genie like uh, is in this status, so without any wings, um, because so without any charge, you can come here to this shrine, to this ruin. Inside here, you will find that uh, small tree. Get close to the tree, and the genie will charge again the, the wings. All right, let's go back to our hunting. So I'll get this Dendroclus, uh, Dendro and now, go toward that uh, tree, in front of you, south direction, above it, you will find uh, the next one. Right here. Okay, get it. Got to this tree, you have to teleport to this teleport waypoint, a bit uh, higher, in a higher... Uh, Place, and fly toward the eye of the green titan. Basically here at the eye. You can already see it. Now if you jump down a bit. Okay. From here. You will notice uh, these two stars, right? Just fly to one of them. There is an invisible path. Now. Uh, going on right side, watching toward the titan here, and just drop down from here. And go get it. Nice. Got this one, you have to now teleport to the teleport waypoint here. Under the teleport point underground. Now, once you're here, watch behind you. Go. A bit deeper, toward that direction, so southeast. And when you reach... Uh, this point when you see these two woods uh, to your right side there is a cave inside this cave there is a dendrogus nice got this one teleport back at the same teleport point here and this time instead of behind we go in front so using the stars here we teleport to the entrance of the ruin Okay, 
Once you're inside, turn your right side down. Here. And keep go deeper. Ignore those two flying serpents. Okay, once you reach this room, turn your left side. And here, on bottom side, is the room where you got one of the memory of the djinn. The looper. And if just in front of the wall, there's the it. And close. Nice. Took this two. We have to go take this lonely one. How to reach this point? Just to go to this teleport waypoint and uh, walk to there. Science is uh, pretty far away from uh, all other. We just uh, get it uh, separately. Now. Climb a bit to here. Okay. And go toward it. Basically, it's on that tree again at the top side. Here we go. Now, only three remain, guys, at the most beautiful, one of the most beautiful um, uh, places in Genshin, at least, which is the Eternal Oasis. It's really, really cool. Also, the BGM there is one, yeah, it's really cool. Anyways, just teleport to this triple waypoint. You should automatically unlock once you reach this point of the world rest and use this elevator to go upstairs. Now, teleporting here, keep go in the tunnel. And here we are again at the Orchid of uh, blah blah blah. We, we call it Eternal Oasis. Perfect. Once you're here, first of all, turn your left side. You see there's two trees, alright? One of the dendroclus is right here. I guess you can uh, pick it even without uh, reverting the time. I mean, speeding the time. So let me try. Yeah, you can just get it like this. It's really simple. Just get close to the tree and get it. If for some weird reason it doesn't work by coming here and attaching the tree, just to go to this flower and activate the memory. Turn it on the most right side so the tree here will fall and uh, yeah, here you must be able to pick it up. Anyways, to this one, we have to go toward that uh, waterfall. Mm, a bit on right side. Here. Toward the uh, south west uh, south direction. Here you don't have to do anything with the flowers because it's just uh, behind this fallen tree. Even if the tree didn't fall, you can still go behind from here. And it's right there, sitting on a small lake. Uh, I don't think we can call this a lake, but uh, <laughs> pool. Yeah, pool. Pool is the correct word. Now, last one remain from here, watching toward the east direction. Just to go. Is on this bush here. Everyone here can act uh, as Kokom. I mean, everyone here has a Kokomi's uh, burst. Always on. <laughs> really cool. Here we go. Take it. And uh, we finish it with this tree as well. Very cool this place. That's why I wanted to keep uh, the last tree, Dendroclus, uh, for this part. That's it, guys. Now you should have uh, 55 of the Dendroclus uh, in your bag. And uh, let me repeat, you can find 110 from the first part of uh, Sumeru. Then you can find 70 from the second part of Sumeru, which is the first part of the Sumeru Desert. So 70 from here for a total 180. And uh, by only these two areas, you can reach uh, State of the 7, level 7, and 23 on 35. Let me check if it's 23. Yeah, 23 on 35. Now, from the last part, the newest part, not the last because we still cannot reach level 10, but the newest part, this set of Hadramavet, uh, we can get 55 of the Dendroclus. So, let's go to the statue, and um, if we do a um, sum, we can get to 110 plus 70, 180, 180 plus 55 is 235. So, with the 235 till now, we can reach a level 9 and 5 on 40. So 35 remain for the next area. Actually, not a 35, 36, because we always, the devs always put one extra as a um, gift. We can uh, get that. 
So that's it guys, hope this video helped you to collect um, all the new 55 dendroculus in the desert of Hadramavet and reach your statue at 9, level 951. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video. Bye!